you, like so. Don't go over the top as the paste will spread onto the whole CPU top once you mount the cooler in. Now comes the trickiest part of the build, getting the cooler in place. As you'll see, I actually got the orientation of the arms wrong, so make sure you check the manual to ensure the cooler arms will rest in the correct position to be screwed in. Don't worry if you don't get it right the first time, just make sure you don't lift the cooler off the, the CPU, otherwise you'll have thermal paste all over the place. Next, screw the cooler in place in a crisscross pattern so that it sits in evenly. Once that's done, you can fit in the cooler fan on the opposite side of the rear I.O. in this case, right next to the RAM slots. We want the hot air from the cooler to exit through the back of the case, hence this positioning. The fan has two brackets that will latch onto the cooler fins. Check the cooler manual to make sure you're fitting it in correctly. For reference, the side of the fan that has these four support arms is the exhaust side, and this is the side that should be facing towards the cooler if that makes sense. Now is a good time to plug in the cooler fan into the fan header on the motherboard. Locate the one near 